finally arrived, Jedi. I seek to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. Deny my request? I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not shame me further. There were no wars to fight, no great enemies to destroy. I wish this was a different age, where our armadas were a force to be feared. A Zakek? Those are the deadliest beasts in this part of the jungle. Patrols are right to be cautious about them. I'll do what I must to prove myself to the other Mandalorians, but fighting a Zakek would be a short-lived honor. What? Yes, uh, I suppose that is possible. We would both gain recognition from that battle. Your plan is acceptable to me. Together we will destroy the Zakek. I will meet you there. On. He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canox. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait, did you hear that? That's her! Get her! Yes, is something wrong? Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins.
Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? 
colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cath hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian Wars. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. See that boma over there? The force flows through even these simple creatures. They can enter your mind and you able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed, basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment, primal and unsophisticated. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients. But you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness, yes, like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety. Age around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold, violence especially. With the force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson for now.
existence. I'm Kumis, a Mandalorian warrior. My brothers believe me dead. Without aid, they shall soon be right. A patrol was sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Zarga, my commander, told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pets were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack. So I've been up here, weaponless, for two days. You must have cleared a path through the beasts coming here. If you take care of the Boma beasts, I can make it to safety. My blaster rifle's been useless ever since I used it to bash in a Canuck's skull. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. Return here when you have slain the beast and I will be able to return to camp. for Mandalorians, but just letting him starve up there. I think you did the right thing. I agree. There was enough senseless death back then to last a lifetime. Yes? Is something wrong? That is hard. Like you, the other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave, and once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay. Much had been taken from the Enclave. Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave. I suspect someone has been taking the situation more.
Zack Egg is just up ahead. Together we have a chance of defeating it. We go into the clearing and attack it. Either it dies or we do. Beasts of the jungle are fierce and powerful. Straightforward plans work the best. They are heavily armored. They aren't particularly agile, but if they connect, it can be deadly. But a skilled patrol of warriors can kill the beasts. Then we fight! out into the jungle.
Navril have proven your worth by defeating the Zakik. Yes, General.
jungle.
Kelborn says you, you have sword kelp. between Jedi and Kelborn is the if you Kelborn says you you so kelp I see now. 
I doubt you even need. I wish you. Kelborn's. You have. Born set you so you have violated the rule you used, you must fear. Jedi. Jedi. Betrayal. All thoughts of me will slide from your vision, from your mind, like water. You know who I am, but you will be unable to voice it, to remember it. What does a Jedi see? Only what I allow them to see.
Yes. Have you... That crystal is bonded. Should your power increase, is there something... A discussion. Something up? The repairs are coming along. I hope to have the Evan Hawk ready by the time you finish your business here. Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs around the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakig. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. Zarga told me that you returned one of our sheep to the herd. You have gained some small prestige by helping Kumas. How many Kanaks did you have to kill to find those parts for Zuka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, 
The Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me, a man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Uh, one, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help.
Only ones with stealth generators, did you? Thank <laughs> you. 
Seems trouble follows you on a regular basis. I think it's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. Thank you. 
stagnant beasts that have been killing its people for years before the were it not for Revan's strength. The... Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We sw only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? <laughs> We'd never faced Jedi before didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovids and from our experience with Exar Kun. And by that time, he was completely a Sith. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and compassionate leaders. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? And that is how we thought of you. Not of the Jedi in particular, but the men and women who joined Revan and Malak to fight against us. You turned a demoralized, defeated mess into a coordinated army. You brought tactics, backbone, and above all else, victory to them. Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clans. 
we would have brought a new age of strength and expansion to the Republic, with the wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought. I ask you this. Is the galaxy better off for the Republic's victory? I suppose we'll never know. Now is there something else you needed? I thought that the Force would be enough of a weapon. That's a good position. Here you go. Now is... Here you go. Now... Here you go. Now... Here you go. Now is... Here you go. Now... Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Now... Here you go. Already gave you my last... Now is... Thank you.